Here's a quick fix for your Ease version 3.0 adjustable bed base if you are stuck in the upright position and your remote stops working suddenly. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you got power. And if you got this green LED on, then you want to go ahead and check your control unit to make sure that's actually receiving the power. As you can see on the control module that's mounted to the bottom of the bed, we got power here, so we're looking good. Like anything, what you got to do is unplug it and remove the power for about a minute and let it reset. And what this will allow you to do is once you go and plug this unit back in or apply power, you're going to go into a pairing mode. And how you'll identify this is the blue light on the controller box will actually begin to flash. And if you have the Ease 3.0 inside the remote where the batteries are in the back, there is a pairing button. And that's when you would actually push that button and pair it back up. Okay, plug the power back in. And the blue light is on, and there you go. It's starting to flash, which means we're in pairing mode, and this is when you would actually push the button on the remote to pair the unit back up. Okay, taking a look at the remote control for the Ease 3.0. Ease 3.0, how you can tell is when you pull the cover off of the back of the unit, where the batteries are, you'll see this pairing button right here. Now, once you actually plug power back into the unit, you will see that the blue light is flashing on the control module. When that happens, you go and hold this down. When you hold this down, you'll see this corner light up. Let's see if we can catch that on camera. There you go. Now say that uh, we've gone through the hard reset as well as we paired it back up. And then you get back to your remote. Press the buttons, nothing's happening but you can see it light up. So this is more than likely in what they call childproof mode. And on the Ease 3.0, this is how you actually get it out or unlocked. You hold these two bottoms, the head up and the leg up, hold the two buttons in the downward position until it flashes. Okay, and it flashed once. Then you go to the head up and the leg up and you hold this down. Let's turn it this way. And you hold that down until it flashes. And once you've done that, you should have unlocked the bed. So let's take a look. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ease 3.0. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and keep it at the top of the YouTube playlist if it helped you out. Now we're going to cover one more thing. Let's just pretend that we went through all the troubleshooting. We went through the power, hard reset, and you reconnected or repaired it. Then you went and you did the whole childproof sequence and you unlocked that with the remote. And that didn't work. Well, now you're going to have a serious issue. So the only way you're going to be able to do this is you're going to have to call the 800 number and get on the tech line. But let's just say it is midnight and nobody is there. So what do you do? Well, I'm going to give you a life hack right now. So as we can see, it's locked. There's nothing we can do. We'll go back into flat. We'll go to zero G up, down. So here's what we do, life hack. First thing I noticed when I assembled this bed and I received it on this base, I noticed on the power supply, there is one that actually went to a cord and this plugs into the wall, obviously. But it had attached and still does zip tight here with the same exact plug as the power cord here. But the unique thing about this is you can see it has two 9 volt batteries. So let's say in case of a power outage, this is when you go to your backup battery system. And what you would do is you would unplug the power cord from the power supply unit and you would simply plug in 
two 9 volt batteries here and plug this in directly to the unit. And uh, what this will allow you to do is have a backup battery system. So when I remembered this, I don't know if these are in series or if these are parallel, but I did remember seeing the 9 volt terminals. So what I ended up doing was going around the house and finding a 9 volt battery. And this you can connect directly to the motor itself and you can get it to go up or down. So if you're stuck in the up position and you have no power or the remote is broken or whatnot, this is your last savior. If you don't have this, then you're pretty much screwed and something major is probably wrong. Maybe the one, one of the motors failed or uh, the control unit failed altogether. Um, in that case, you can use this battery as long as the motors are good on the bed. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Now how I set this up is I had these alligator clips laying around, so it doesn't really matter which way you plug these in since it's a DC. So I just clip these on to make it simple. And you, on this end, you just need something that will be able to get into the pin connector. So. You can use some needle pins or you can use a paper clip, anything that is conductive and you know, you're not going to shock or short anything out based on the nine volt battery. I'm sure as a kid, you've put these on your tongue just to feel the power, um, electricity. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to do for this video or this demo is since I got my multimeter, I'm just going to connect these two clips to the pin terminals here so I can jam these into the connector of the uh, motor so I can make it go up or down and simply it goes like this with DC it's going to be directional so once you apply the current so if it doesn't work this way if it starts going up then all you do is you reverse the pins and you stick it back in that connector and then it should come down. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect the power from the power supply out of the wall unit. Okay, so you can see green LED is off and now we're going to go to the power module and there is no blue light here so we have no power here. Okay, so on this unit you can see it's clearly marked head and foot and right now what we're trying to get to is the head so those two plastic tabs on the connector press those in and you'll be able to pull out the terminal then what you do is you reach back and you squeeze the plug pull out the terminal we have our battery connected to the alligator clips and we have our terminal there by alligator clips connected to the two pins and all we need to do is connect the pins to touch these two pins inside the terminal let me get see if i get a better view okay there we go all right take the pins touch them here It's a little tough doing it with one hand and holding the camera, but we're going to do our best. Well, we heard it. We made a little contact there. Here we go. And you can hear the motor moving. And we can see the bed coming down. If I could just keep continuity there. And there you have it.